Hey, I'm Dave. Hey, I'm JP. And joining us this week is Big Will, also known AKA, as Ninstar. AKA Ninstar Rose. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> okay, just interrupt Dave. Sorry. <laughs> Good to finally have you on the show, Will. Well, yeah, it's been a while. I remember used to doing the um, AN radio back in the days, and well, it's good to, you know, be part of this stuff again, so it'll be great. Yep. Um, so, uh, Will, have you played the new Smash at all? Did you go to Oz Comic Con? Yes, I did. I loved it. It was great. There was only so much that you could do with the demo, unfortunately, but, um, yeah, I got hands-on on both 3DS and Wii U, and I gotta, I gotta admit, it's looking great. I'm, I love the feel of it. I love the looks of it. I love everything about it so far oh awesome awesome who is your favorite newcomer to players uh mine is the wii fit trainer i gotta admit i love the wii <laughs> fit trainer it's really good you guys know me well i'm a big sonic fan so i did use sonic but comparing sonic to wii fit trainer now i'm like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh so there's love for wii fit trainer now yeah. yeah, and um, well, Wii Fit Trainer was actually a really fast and solid hitter as well, so it felt right using her, and I'm a fast place kind of player, and to top it off, well, I won like nine matches out of ten when I played as her on the day, so oh, that's, that's pretty not... impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, least favorite character? Ooh, least favorite character, it doesn't matter if they're um, returners? Oh, no, it doesn't matter if they're... Yeah. Veterans, yeah, either. Oh, wow, least favorite. Um, uh, I'm just going to just say it, um, Olimar. I just really can't stand Olimar. <laughs> I can't use it in any yeah. way, shape, or form. Fair enough. Oh, I yeah. think they've switched him up a bit now. So, yeah, it's going to take a while for veterans to get used to Olimar again. He was always one of those tricky ones to use, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, never yeah. got the hang of him either. Yeah, And I still don't get the hang of him now, so... <laughs> Uh, I kind of grew into like Olima later on. Yeah, I mean, when I first started with him, I sucked with him. But then I saw how other people used him. I go, hey, it looks kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no. But, yeah. <laughs> now there's uh, a whole other setup to him now. Uh, yeah. So there weren't any newcomers you didn't like? Well, I didn't play as Little Mac or Greninja, um, reason being because everyone else was playing as them, and I'm like, all right, I've seen enough of them already. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I did try Mega Man, I did try Rosalina, and of course Wii Fit Trainer, and um, well, you already heard my takes on Wii Fit. Uh, Mega Man and Rosalina is a different ball game, that's for sure. Like with um, Smash Brothers in the past, you used to the A button being your standard attack, you know, punch, punch, kick, yeah. and stuff like that. Yep. With Mega Man, it's a whole different ball game. You're constantly on the go. They're always, you know, you're just shooting your bullets and stuff like that. You're not standing still when you're pressing the A button. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. it will yeah. feel dramatically different when you're playing as Mega Man. We we had a Biju on a couple of weeks ago, and he was saying it felt like uh, Mega Man has eight special attacks instead of four physical, four special. That's yeah. right. That's what it, it's spot on. Honestly, that's what it's like. And oh boy, you know it just feels completely different. You, it's it's definitely um, a different take for Smash Brothers, and it's a very interesting one. And also, also Rosalina falls into that same sort of category with the whole um, Luma being in, um, as your assistant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you gotta you gotta like focus on two characters at the exact same time on the battlefield instead of one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. sure, a lot of people were like comparing Rosalina with the Ice Climbers. But I'm like, nah, they are different completely. Yeah. Because if the point that you can separate them makes it whole different. Yeah. yeah. So they are definitely interesting characters. They were definitely fun to play as. And it will be interesting to see how it goes, especially in competitive scene, I guess. Yeah, but Mega Man, I'm a bit confused about his moves a bit now because we've seen him use the slide and the uppercut. I go, where did those actually fit in? Because if the spark shock is his up smash... And the flame thing is his down smash. The up special is the rush coil, and down special is uh, yeah. leaf shield. Where does the uppercut and the slide fit in? I, th I think we've seen a lot with the customizations. Like it's not always yeah. just going to be a variation of the move. It can be yeah. an entirely different move. Yeah, that's right. And to top it off, like Sakurai never announced the customizable move sets until now. But before we knew, yeah. he um had them all planned out from the get-go, yeah. you know what I mean? 
Yeah. If, if, yeah. As a matter of fact, he probably did. So that's why and he showed him off, but yet he just didn't tell us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trust Sakurai to be a troll like that. <laughs> mm. Sakurai. Yeah. Anyway, anything else you want to add? Uh, I think that's about it. I guess we'll get stuck into the picks. We'll let you start us off, Will, being our guest. Alrighty. So today's uh, Monday pick. In classic mode, your challenger, um, multiple stages, in roots, in a climatic final battle. The more gold you put into the fiend scale, the harder the battles will be. Um, in return, your rewards will be more better and more abundant. The best way to earn gold fast is to win classic battles on higher intensity. So there you guys go. So I guess, you know, you get more gold, which then um, from previous mm. screenshots you can use to, like, buy trophies and stuff to yeah. um, add to your collection, I guess. That's what I think it is. Yeah. It's just like traditional Smash, you know. The higher the difficulty, mm. the more coins you get. Uh, but this time it sounds like you get yeah. really a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Um, it reminds me a lot of Kid Icarus Uprising. Yeah, for sure. You guys because... are probably going to hate me when I say this, but I wasn't actually a fan of Kid Icarus Uprising. I never really couldn't get into it that much. <laughs> I, I was the same, actually. I traded yeah. in, I've only just re- recently rebought it and started getting back into it. But Yeah, yeah. there's however, quite though, a learning um, curve. It's definitely a different learning curve, but however, though, yeah, if it's like Kid Icarus Uprising, that's why I probably wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So, being it's Sakurai's game. Um, in classic mode, you can choose your next challenger on the route map. Looks like uh, looks like Master Hand is waiting at the end. But perhaps something might change if you uh, raise the intensity. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah. I, I think we assumed Master Hand would be back in some sort of form. But... yeah. Perhaps he changes because cause there's different uh, master hands, isn't there? Yeah, that's right. In, introduced in yeah. melee was the well, the left hand, crazy hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going with that. Were yeah. there other ones or just master hand and crazy hand? Master well, hand and crazy. That's yeah. it, honestly. Unless if they actually change up the battles themselves, you yeah. never know. There's also the chance that taboo can return. Yeah, in, um, possibly from yeah. brawl. Yeah, I and got the idea of taboo too. And for we know, like, um, if it's like, let's just say, if it's inspired, it looks very inspired by the um, Street Pass Quest Two, if you ask me. The oh, whole yeah. classic route yeah. where you can branch off into yeah. different directions. Um, and if it goes to, towards that path, there might even be a boss after the Master Hand. <laughs> true. True. Yeah. True. Maybe the boss is taboo. You never know. There's so many ideas, but again, with the little information we have, it just yeah. makes me ever so more excited for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, those are the Monday screenshots, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got the next one, JP. Pick of the day. Looking at the number of days we have left for development, it would be an impossible task to create this. That's what I told my staff. But thanks to their determination... Of her female designer, these zero suit outfits got completed in time. From the ending of Metroid Zero Mission, here's Samus in shorts. Uh, you can imagine what happened after this. All right, well, definitely a big time fan service. And also, <laughs> uh, I'd like to introduce a newcomer, guys Sexy Suit Samus. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, God. Deviant art exploded. I heard. It did, and more than one ways as well. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and I also heard some feminists got in on this too and got really upset. Well, Um, i got to admit, like, we're in that generation now, you know what I mean? Like, um, where this stuff happens all the time. Like, you see, like, like, I go to the gym every day and I see chicks like that, you know, working out like that. Like, I'm like, okay, well, that's normal. No (laughs) difference here with Samus, honestly, and... um, Well, it it goes to show, like you know, when a girl gets a bit a little more revealing, it's so bad. Like, yeah. like what about you know, Snake? Seriously, like there was a naked <laughs> snake. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know, and he was almost essentially topless. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I think what makes this okay for the most part is that you know the, these outfits are actually from 
uh, Metroid games. It's not like Sakurai mm-hmm. just said, "Oh, I want I want Zero Suit Samus to look sexy. Let's let's make her look sexy." Th- these are actual outfits. So yeah, yeah, that's right. Went- so it does stay yeah. true to the Metroid series, which is a, a good take. You know, like um, and that's what yeah. I've also me personally wanted from smash brothers i wanted like for a long time like alternative costumes that represents their franchises you know what i mean yeah, yeah. so it, it's good to see that this is happening but um <laughs> let's just say this um some people not so much but yeah i, I it gets uh, my tick of approval yeah same <laughs> uh in fourteen thousand two hundred and six years i think that's a new record i don't know how to double check that <laughs> Yeah, but there's another pick Sakurai has slotted in. Here's a look at the 3DS version. You can use the same outfit variations in both the 3DS and Wii U versions. This confirms, well, multiple things, this picture. Um, first thing it confirms is that most of the alternative costumes for, I guess, all characters will be on both versions. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. Um but there's yeah. another thing I wouldn't mind discussing about this picture. I think you're both onto the same thing here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Prince Star from Melee, isn't it? Yeah. Which they go. didn't notice last week. <laughs> no, I, I don't know if they didn't I, notice or Sakurai just literally did that because, you know, yeah. most, of the, it, most of the pictures that he's been revealing, he's been doing stuff like that, you know? He's just yeah. like, here you go, here's a screenshot of this past image. It's not the first time Sakurai hasn't, you know, specifically yeah. revealed a new stage, but revealed it like he's talking about something else, but, you know, he knows that he's revealing a stage. Exactly. Um, another good example is, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, when um, Robin and Lucina was announced with Captain Falcon, he released a bunch of tons of screenshots, and one of them revealed Captain Falcon and Sonic at Green Hill, at Green Hill Zone. Yeah. So Green Hill Zone has returned as well. And that wasn't confirmed oh, in any of the screenshots that? of the week. It was oh, just I, there. I didn't even see that. I don't think JP did. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that either. I saw a lot of Falcon and Little Mac, but I saw no Falcon and Sonic. Yep, there was a picture of Falcon and Sonic um, running on Green Hill Zone. So, okay. And that um, Green Hill me. Zone has been confirmed to return on the 3DS version. Okay. So, that's what you were expecting, though, JP. You you said oh, was, uh, because they had the Windy Hill stage on Wii U, they'd probably bring back Green Hill, oh, was, put that on 3DS. So you were right. Anything else you guys want to add about these screenshots? Um, now nah, I love them. Yeah. Yeah. I just it, wish there was a birthday suit, Samus. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely am really happy about this. And it just goes to show if Samus is getting alternative costumes, so is many other yeah. characters. And I'm really hoping, like, Mario gets his, like, Shine Sprite shirt from Sunshine or maybe Dr. Mario back. Oh, actually, you haven't seen the leak roster one yet, have you? I have. <laughs> yeah. I actually have. But, yeah, um, yeah but this, um, this just opens the window to alternative costumes. Maybe a certain Daisy might appear. <laughs> uh, of course. Yeah. So course. yeah. Um I am very happy with this announcement, of course. Yeah. All right. Pick of the day. The treasure chests that appear in Smash Run are very important. Not only do they give you stat boosts, but they also give you custom parts, the bag on the right, and Smash Run powers, the bag on the left. You should pick these up and use them in the next battle. However, watch out for Mimi Cuties dis- Guised as treasure chests. Run away. Run away. <laughs> what well, I don't get is weird. run away from them or are they running away from you? I think Man. you're meant to run away from them. <laughs> yeah. They can kick your ass pretty badly. <laughs> so they're from Kitty Chris, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, one of my friends um, uh, mentioned to me um, about this picture uh, when we were discussing about the Zero Two Samus. It's like, yeah, there's feminine legs on those treasure chests, and no one's complaining. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, we're in that generation now, and this is an all-star fighter. So, who cares yeah. about you know if they're getting a little more different outfits and they're a little more revealing? And it's not that bad anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> however, though, it's definitely an interesting update, and I. Well, it reveals a little more on Smash Run, which yeah. um, 
another mode that I'm really looking forward to. And it just goes to show, well, even in Smash Run, there will be a few trolls here and there. So we just got to be careful, huh? Yeah, I kind of like it. It's not every treasure chest is a treasure chest. I kind of like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it will be very interesting. And nevertheless, um, however, though, I never really played... um, this uh mode before like apparently it's inspired by one of the modes in kirby's air ride um mm. i never played it yeah. before so i will not know how it's like so it'll be, i'm yeah. really interested in it and i can't wait to get my hands on it um again i did play it once um on the demo at comic-con and it was really fun i enjoyed it <laughs> yeah i'm actually looking forward to it too and i'm really curious how it's going to work and everything if it's online or if it's LAN or What's going on? Not too sure about of um, online yeah. as of yet. Um, again, we still got very little info, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually online because again, this mode is definitely inspired for multiplayer. So yeah, yeah, we've we've so, had people saying that it's local multiplayer, and others, you know, think yeah. it's absolutely definitely online multiplayer. So well, what gives it a big advantage is, is this mode is exclusive to the um, 3DS version and it's not going to be present on the Wii U version at all. So giving it multiplayer be- uh, online benefits will be great for it. Yeah. yeah. People might be playing this more than the actual brawls. Oh, I don't think that would ever happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a decent mode in its own right, though. But yeah, it's more yeah. It's just a sideshow kind of thing. Is that, is that all for that pick? That's it for that one. <laughs> uh, uh, you got the next one, Will? Yep. Ooh, I'm glad to take this next one. No, I will beat you with an inch of your life. Uh, Demon Lord Girahim makes an appearance in Smash Brothers. He's an assist trophy, so he could be conceivably backing up Link, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, doesn't that actually just, like, break the fourth wall there sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, really, totally. I really thought Girahim had a chance as a playable character, to be honest. Um, we, we've had quite a few deconfirmations lately with uh, assist trophies. Yeah. What made it um, hard for Girahim uh, making the playable roster is the fact that he's only appeared in one game. You know yeah. what I mean? You could even say the same with Robin and Lucina. Uh, that was actually yeah. real shocking that both of them made it in, yeah. honestly. But, um, yeah, that yeah. was the biggest... Um, drawback for Girahim and being that it was released um the game Skyward Sword was released probably about was it two years ago now? Two, yeah, three two years to ago. Three years. Yeah. Yeah. Two um years. which decreases his chances, you know what I mean? So and a lot of people were excited for like were really hoping Girahim would be in um in Smash and I did a personal top ten list on YouTube and he actually made it on my list. So um yeah. I was kinda of sad to see Girahim not making the cut, but you know what? At the same time, I'm glad he's in Smash Brothers in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, exactly. That makes the Zelda Assist yeah. Trophy characters down to four. I, I just yeah. hope he's going to do his little dance around people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's I did. See. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be I interesting really... to see what he does. Like, maybe he'll summon those red daggers and, you know, fire them in different, like, you know, like yeah. he does the click and, you know, he just fires yeah. them in different directions and stuff like that. Or just yeah. go up and lick people. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, Could do that, but um, yeah. the good thing to point out is that he is holding a sword, so he yeah. might do a bit of um, he might do a bit of a you know samurai guru a little bit. Um, yeah, I know I'm probably going to get hate mail for this or something, but I'm a big fan of Skyward Sword, and I kind of like Girahim as a villain. So yeah, I'm kind of missing him here. I wish he was part of a roster, but you can't have everything. I don't think exactly. you get any hate mail for those comments, JP. I'm, I'm in agreement. I, I like Skyward Sword, and Giriam is probably one of the more interesting Zelda villains. Like, mm. um, you know, th- yeah. there were even people saying Giriam should replace Ganondorf. I, I would have liked to see both in there. Yeah, I would uh, actually even further that, because, um, again, yeah. Giriam made my top ten list for newcomers to appear, and... Um, yeah, well, it just goes to show that I wanted him in the game. Yeah. And unfortunately, I guess we didn't get him. There was, and yeah, that's the only issue with assist trophies. As much as we love to see the character, once they're confirmed as an assist trophy, that's it. It's done. Game over for the character for this time. 
I might throw this in there as well. Like um, when I was watching the Smash Brothers Invitational, there was um, a character that I was really hoping that would be playable, but was revealed in the Invitational as an assist trophy, which unfortunately um, Shadow the Hedgehog makes makes an ultimate assist trophy. Uh, <laughs> I thought Shadow was going to end up as a palette swap for Sonic this time. I was worried you were going to say Tingle there, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nah, nah, man. Unfortunately, Shadow the Hedgehog makes the ultimate assist trophy uh, this time around again. So, yeah. um, so nah, he's not taking the battlefield. But now, um, I think about it. It looks like they're just really focusing on one third-party representative from each franchise yeah. to be sort of representing the battlefield. You know what I mean? I think if Sega and Nintendo keep up the relationship they have at the moment, which will, I guess, will all depend on the success of uh, these Wii U exclusive Sonic games. Um, if that keeps up, you know, most likely we'll see more than one Sonic character in the next Smash. But however far away that may be. But, yeah, I think just, yes. for, just for this one, it made more sense to bring in Pac-Man and Mega Man and, you know, keep it just one per one per third party. That's yeah. correct, yeah. Um, just one more thing I'd say about Girahim. Girahim was kind of the only one that would fit as a new Zelda character. I mean, we got totally. we got a newcomer for Mario, a uh, newcomer for Pokemon, and I just kind of expected one for Zelda as well. I mean, it made sense. But mm-hmm. it looks like we're going to get just the same four, well, five characters now that Sheik is um, mm. Sheik um, her own character. Don't yeah. mind if I step in on that one. I will actually say there is one more character that's got a good shot of representing the Zelda franchise. And being that the game just got rebooted in HD, Wind Waker, there's a good shot that Tetra might make an appearance. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tetra. I suppose Tetra is a chance. Everyone's always said, you know, mm. Toon Zelda because there's Toon Link and yeah. yeah. And yeah. also, while well, Toon Zelda know. or Toon Sheik was one of the um, forbidden characters or something, or you know what I mean, that was planned for Brawl but was didn't make the cut. Oh, there's always those those rumors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so um. That's another chance that Tetra might have, and Tetra would be a, a unique character. And being that Wind Waker just got, Wind Waker is essentially the latest Zelda game to be launched. Yeah. Um. And especially that there's also confirmed a Wind Waker level, um, for Wii U. So there's a good there's a good chance that Tetra might have. But again, that's the only character I can really see now making a newcomer appearance for Zelda. Do you have any other ideas for newcomers from Zelda, JP? No, um, I thought you told me, I thought you told me you wanted to see Groose. Ah, uh, yes, I want to see Groose. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone wants to see Groose. <laughs> uh, Groose is loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his stage can be Groose Land. Oh wow! All yeah. right, moving on to the next pick. Yeah, is this our last pick? Yeah. Um, yes, yes, it is. All right, uh, we'll probably share this one, JP, because there's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. The 3DS version has an excellent sounds collection. The design looks nice for a sound test screen, doesn't it? The font color for the remix text on remix songs comes in pink or white. The pink ones are songs arranged for this version of Super Smash Bros., while the white ones are remixes made in earlier Smash Bros. games. This means that there are reoccurring songs from past releases. Choose your songs and play with features on the bottom screen. You can listen to character voices too. One of the new highlights for this feature is the play in sleep mode option in the upper right. If you turn this on, you can listen to the tracks with your headphones even when your Nintendo 3DS is closed. The L and R buttons will let you skip tracks This means you can use it as a portable music player. Enjoy listening to the tracks you love by putting all songs in loop, shuffle, or selecting your favorite tracks. Uh, In Smash Run, the background music plays randomly from the songs you select from the track list. This means you can customize your own song lineup. Usually, each stage has two tracks, which makes for a lot of songs on its own. But as a bonus, we've added more songs for you to enjoy in Smash Run and in the sounds area. By the way, here's another music announcement. You can now 
listen to some of the tracks on the official website. We're planning to add more tracks a little at a time, so stay tuned. That is a lot of info for what is essentially just a, a, a sound selection screen. Uh, actually makes a lot of sense because this announcement was one of the latest ones. We didn't get the announcement until 7.30 Australian time. Yeah, Probably it took a while to translate or Sakura yeah. was just wondering what to yeah. type. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. However, though, I'm thrilled about this one. I'm, oh, me, I love my music. I love my video game music. Yeah. So just knowing that I could just put my 3DS in yeah. the pocket when I'm not playing and getting some street passes and listening to Smash music at the same time would be great. <laughs> I love Nintendo music too. So, yeah, I can't wait for this. The Smash Bros. series has always had great soundtracks. Yeah. The thing about Smash Brothers is it brings the best of all soundtracks from all of our favorite Nintendo franchises and just mashes yeah. them all in one game and, yeah. and just have that um, capability to play in our pockets. Just that would be great. Yeah. Like Melee, yeah. br- Melee brought some good tunes, but then Brawl was just a massive step above that. And oh. uh, with. Uh, the recent Mario Kart 8 soundtrack being so good, you know, all these live orchestrated yeah. tunes, I'm just really excited for um, yeah, some of the tunes yeah. that we're going to get in this game. Uh, I am going to love it. We're going to get Mega Man tunes. We're going to get Punch-Out tunes. We're going to get Super Mario Galaxy tunes. We're going to get everything Sonic. You name it. <laughs> you can even throw in, you know, your classic favorites like Star Fox, F-Zero, Zelda, oh, you can. Oh my God, so many, so many go. And also additionals like from Kid Icarus Uprising now, um, Pokemon X and Y, you name it, it's going to be in it now. <laughs> <laughs> There's even things like Chrono Trigger and everything. Apparently, they had the musicians from that, the Chrono Trigger series. Oh, okay. There's also a musician from Xenoblade, which kind of spoils it even more in a way. Oh, that doesn't necessarily yeah. spoil anything. Like, yeah there's also <laughs> a golden know, sun i know you're trying to say you know yeah. th- there definitely has to be a shulk character now but like yeah you know, there's not going to be a chrono trigger character i don't think nah. that doesn't mean yeah i would have the second yeah. dave on that one as well because yeah. there's even in the list of a few um kingdom hearts um yeah you know yeah don't think we're going to see Sora in Smash Brothers anytime soon. No. Nah. Yeah, true. <laughs> and also, to top it up, um, there's another, you know, this is a game that I follow, Ace Combat, and I love yeah. that game. But I don't think we're going to be seeing a jet flying in the yeah. Smash Brothers roster anytime soon either. So. Yeah. There's also the Golden Sun composer in that list too. Yeah. yeah. So However, I though, it's one hell of an update, and... I really like the first three tracks that they put um, showed off as well. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. I haven't actually gone on the Smash site. What they've they've put three tracks on there. Yeah. Like I was saying, there's a overhaul on the website now. Everything's changed now. You got stages there. You got characters there. You got info there. You got music there. It got an it's... overhaul recently with when they revealed the um, box art. Mm. What what's actually changed? Oh, they've just got a music section, yeah. and is there a stage yeah. section? Wait. Yeah, there's a stage section, though. It's not too detailed from what I saw. I can't see it. Where am I looking? I don't know. It says it on the front there. I see. If you read the bulletin board or whatever it's called, it okay. says there is a section for stages now. Oh, yeah, I, I see the stage section, but it's only like a first set of stages, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. The music um, screen has only got three songs available at the moment, which is um, the battle theme, um, the trainer battle theme from Pokemon X and Y, uh, the full Steam Ahead theme from Zelda Spirit Tracks, and a new song, a new reincarnation of the um, Smash Brothers for sound um, main theme for Multiman Brawl. And I actually really like that. I loved it so much that I've actually made it my ringtone. <laughs> Yes. You don't want to know what mine is. It's by far my favorite Smash Brothers theme to date. Followed by Melee in second and Brawl. Brawl's dead last. I really hated it. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair oh, enough. The soundtrack. No, you mean just the main theme. Uh, really, just it didn't click with me. 
I loved it. Du, 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 du. Okay, du, du, du. <laughs> uh, okay, you can stop. <laughs> All the picks done, guys. Uh, anything else we wanted to touch on? Or is that about it? Um, I'll just have my uh, quick say. Um, again, Daisy needs to be in it. <laughs> at, oh, yeah, yeah. At Daisy Sakurai. I hope you're listening. And <laughs> um, my number one requested character. I'm really hoping Crystal. I'll just throw that in there right now. Fair enough. So, Will, you're not you're not still holding hope that Daisy makes the cut. You still think she'll be a um, alt costume for Peach? Um, I would love to see Daisy as her own individual character. Um, I've even potentially created a move set for her. Um, if you, again, if you watch my video, I could I could tell everyone how great Daisy would be as her own individual character. And I would love Sakurai to complete the Princess Trio, but yeah. You know, as much as I love to see Daisy in the game, the chances of her is really slimming down now, especially when they're nearing the end of their newcomer announcements. So yeah. I'm just really hoping if that's the case, they need a they need to add Crystal. We Fox is still alone in this game. We have not seen Falco yeah. or Wolf. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I think I think we've gone like way over time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's oh, probably God. me ranting and being excited being that's back. Right. <laughs> It was a bit, it was a bit yeah. of a mess, but we got there in the end. Uh, it was good yeah. to have you on the on the podcast, Will. Thanks for joining us. Not a problem. Yeah. Thank you very much for having me. No Just, problem. Hope to see you again in yeah in coming weeks. So um, um, where where can uh, where can people check out your stuff, Will? You said you had a top ten and and all that. That's right. I have got my own individual YouTube channel called the Sonic Peach Project. Um, which not only I do um, just top 10 videos, I also do gaming discussions. You, you can actually see my opinions on um, Smash Brothers at Comic-Con and um, other people's um, thoughts and opinions as well. Um, you also will get to see people from um, the recent Chaos Convention's opinions um, very shortly as well. So check it out, Sonic Peach Project on YouTube, and um, you'll see all of our discussions about Smash Brothers, all of our Miiverse discussions about Smash Brothers, and just um, other cool gaming-related stuff like Let's Plays and challenges and whatnot. So, yeah, check it out. Awesome. Um, Will, you've also got uh, some highlights from when you played us in Mario Kart, the Another Castle group. That's it. Are are we going to be creating some new highlights soon? I hope so. Um, I've unfortunately been a bit lazy about that due to um, me just playing the game competitively and just entering some tournaments, actually. Uh, actually won a tournament not long ago. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm, I'll be happy to share more highlights. Um, I don't know if you guys still do um, tournaments for another castle, but if I'm available and I'm there and playing with you guys, sure, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be seeing more highlights from me, and I'll let you guys know. Cool. Yeah, man, we, we play every Friday, pretty much. And sometimes it follows on through the weekend. So, yeah. Awesome. Be cool. Yeah, I'll see if I can join. Maybe after work. <laughs> All right. Till next time. See ya. See you later, guys. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>